In this video we share the warning and the illumination of conscience according to mystic Luisa Picaretta. Mystics have used various terms to describe an impending world event in which the consciences of a particular generation will be shaken and exposed. Some call it a warning, others an enlightenment of conscience, many judgment, great shaking day of light, purification, rebirth, blessing and so on. In Holy Scripture, the sixth seal recorded in the sixth chapter of the book of Revelation perhaps describes this world event, which is not the last judgment, but a kind of temporary shaking of the world. There was a great earthquake, and the sun became black as a sack, the full moon became like blood and the stars of the sky fell on the earth. Then the kings of the earth, the great men, the generals, the rich and the strong, and all, slave and free, hidden in caves and among the rocks of the mountains, crying to the mountains and the rocks, fall upon us and hide us from the face of him who is seated on the throne and from the wrath of the Lamb, for the great day of their wrath has come, and who can stand before it. Revelation chapter 6 In several messages to the servant of God Luisa Picaretta, our Lord seems to indicate such an event, or a series of events, which will bring the world into a state of mortification. I have seen the whole church, the wars that religious have to face and that they must receive from others, and the wars between societies. There seemed to be a general uproar. It also seemed that the Holy Father would use very few religious people, both to put the state of the church, priests and others in order, and for society in this state of turmoil. Now, as I saw this, bless Jesus said to me, do you think the triumph of the church is far away? And I, yes, really, who can put order in so many things that are messed up? And he, on the contrary, I tell you that it is close. It takes a clash, but strong, and therefore I will allow everything together, between religious and laity, in order to shorten the time. And in the midst of this clash, all of great chaos, there will be a good and orderly clash, but in such a state of mortification that men will see themselves lost. However, I will give them so much grace and light so that they can recognize what is evil and embrace the truth. August 15, 1904 Several years later, Jesus complains that man is getting so hard, that not even war itself is enough to shake him. Man is getting worse and worse. Man has accumulated so much pus inside him that not even the war has managed to get him out. War has not brought man down, on the contrary, he made him grow bolder. The revolution will make him furious, misery will make him despair and abandon him to crime. All this will serve, in some way, to let out all the rot it contains, and then, my goodness will strike man, not indirectly through creatures, but directly from heaven. These punishments will be like the beneficial dew that descends from heaven, which will kill, the ego, of man, and he, touched by my hand, will recognize himself, will wake up from the sleep of sin and will recognize his creator. Therefore, daughter, he prays that everything will be for the good of man. October 4, 1917 The main point to consider here is that the Lord knows how to take the wickedness and evil that is running out in our times and also use them for our salvation, sanctification and his greater glory. This is good and pleasing to God, our Saviour, who desires all to be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth. From 1 Timothy chapter 2. According to the visionaries of the whole world, we have now entered the times of the great tribulation, our Gethsemane, the hour of the passion of the church. For the faithful, this is not a reason for fear, but for anticipation that Jesus is close, active and triumphant over evil, and he will do so by increasing events in both the natural and spiritual spheres. The impending warning, like the angel sent to strengthen Jesus on the Mount of Olives, will also strengthen the church for his passion, infuse it with the graces of the kingdom of divine will, and ultimately bring it to the resurrection of the church. When these signs begin to manifest, stand up and raise your head for your redemption is at hand. From Luke chapter 21. Thank you for supporting my channel. May God bless you and keep you. Our Lady, Queen of Peace, pray for us.